guys, welcome to my channel uh, and welcome to my first video on YouTube. Um, this video is going to be about learning strategies and how you can maybe improve uh, on, your, on your ability to learn or maybe you can just sort of hone uh, and tune your learning uh, skill as it is. Uh, my name is Dr. Paul Bretherton. I am a cognitive neuroscientist uh, working in London. I have uh, four degrees. I have a, an undergraduate degree in behavioral science. I have an honours degree in psych research, or psychology research. I have a um, master's degree in psychology research uh, as well. And I have a PhD in uh, cognitive neuroscience. Uh, so cognitive neuroscience is kind of the combination of two fields. Uh, cognitive psychology, which is the understanding of thinking and how our brain processes, uh, how it forms um, ideas about the world around it. Uh, and neuroscience, which is really about the brain and what the brain does, and brain function or brain structure and brain anatomy. The questions that I get asked the most often is how, how can I learn? How can I improve my ability to learn? And I think some of the strategies that we're taught when we're in primary school don't really work for complex information, sort of rote learning, the way we did our times tables, just by repetition and, and, and learning by rote, doesn't really work for complex information. So uh, you can learn complex information by really highlighting the parts of that information you don't understand. And you can do that simply by writing down everything you know about it. So take a blank piece of paper or a blank document uh, and write out or type out everything you know about that topic. And then go back to the original resource you have and compare. And you'll be able to see what it is you don't understand. You'll be able to see the difference between what you know and what you don't know, what you remembered and what you haven't remembered. What I've also noticed from students is that, that much of the anxiety that students have for exams or when they're submitting assignments or the anxiety they feel in, when they have to think about writing an assignment, uh, the, the, the kind of procrastination that we all have if we feel anxious about doing something, we tend to procrastinate more. And I think if I could do some of those assignments over again, if I could do resit some of those exams, then I would have spent more time breaking down each of the topics and, and understanding what it was that I didn't know about each of those topics and then filling that information in. If you're watching a movie and you're following along in the story, it's not difficult to remember the story. And that's the same as when you're studying. Think of it like a story. And that's really what we think of as being learning, understanding the content and remembering it. If I'm listening to music while I'm studying, is that really helping me study or is it actually, is it actually decreasing my ability to learn? The evidence seems to say that there's a slight improvement in a person's ability to focus. A study in 2006 in the journal Educational Psychology compares focused music listening, music instruction, and background music listening on task performance in students. These authors note that background music in classrooms can't be reliably shown to enhance students' cognitive or academic performance. However, in a meta-analysis of 13 studies that involved 357 participants, the conclusion was that background music was not associated with improved arithmetic performance. But more recent studies that have compared arithmetic performance during silence to background music showed that while overall accuracy in the arithmetic was not improved, those listening to background music had a greater completion of the arithmetic problems. The takeaway here may be that listening to background music while studying helps to resist distraction uh, and enables focus by resisting distraction. Thanks for watching. I really hope you liked it and I hope you found it informative and if you did click the like button. I'm going to be keeping my videos very topic specific, so if there's anything about psychology or neuroscience that you would like to know, particularly if there's anything about being a student at, in academia that you would like help with, then if you could leave your comment down below. Remember to click that subscribe button, 
And until next time, bye.